Hello folks, this is a quick tutorial for those of you that have the newer or newer version of uh, GarageBand that are trying to put uh, narrated mp3s or mp3 files rather into your keynote for your audio glossary of terms. Um, don't worry too much here folks, the uh, the layout and the GUI, the graphic user inter interface, it's a little bit different but the process is exactly the same. When you run GarageBand, uh, load it up, you're probably going to be presented with a screen that looks close to this. This is the the absolute newest version, so it might your might yours might be slightly different from this. But what you're looking for is the voice icon and new project, and you're going to click on choose. And what that should do is load us up a new project like this. And this should be probably similar to the newest version for you. The only thing that's really different here is that it's presenting you with a bunch of different types of voice um, settings to use. You can just leave it on narration vocal by default, so you really don't have to do anything there. And I think the only other different thing about it, if I remember correctly, is that it, they've taken the editing pane from the bottom and they've moved it to the top. And they've added some equalizing buttons down here at the bottom. So anyways, let me just get to it. To record your audio, we're going to do the same thing that I showed you before. We're going to click on the record button and we're going to read our definition. Uh, so this was combustion. Combustion, a chemical reaction that involves the burning of a substance such as the burning of paper. Then when I'm done, I'm going to press the record button. I'm going to press stop because it'll keep playing forward. And I'm going to scroll back here and I'm going to double click on this so that I can bring it up in an expanded view down at the bottom and if I use two fingers and I drag them out what I can do is I can get a magnified view of what I'm working with. Now why I'm doing this is because I want to cut out any dead air that I have and so what we'll do we'll position our cursor down here in this light blue bar right at the beginning and we'll click on play and we'll see what happens and we're going to read our definition. Uh, so this was combustion. Combustion, a chemical reaction involves the burning of a substance. All right, so let me stop there and let me go back because right around here is where I actually started in my definition. So what I'm going to do is position my cursor down here. I'm gonna click so I get this line for the playhead. I'm gonna press Command T. That's going to cut the clip. I'm gonna highlight the portion that I wanna get rid of on this side. It's highlighted now you can tell because the top part of this is blue and I'm going to press delete. Boom, that's gone. Now I'm going to move this whole thing back up here, click and drag it left so that it's going to start right at one. Now at the very end, if you remember in class, I was talking about how there's going to be that disturbing click noise right there. We want to get rid of that, so what we're going to do is again do some trimming, some editing, Position my cursor down here in the light blue. I'm going to click to get my play headline. Command T to split the clip. Make sure that this side is highlighted. I can tell that it is because it's blue right now, that lighter blue shade. Press delete, it's gone. I'm done. Okay, so now that I'm done, reposition my cursor over here for a second. I can go up here to share. And this is exactly the same process as the old version. I'm going to export the song to disk. I'm going to name the song after the term that I'm narrating, and I'm going to place this in one folder. Because if I, well, place it in a specific folder, let me just say, because if I don't do that, um, it will be really disorganized, right? So I created a folder on my desktop called Audio Files, just to organize this. You can change the bottom part here from double AAC to MP3. The Quality doesn't need to be 192 kilobytes per second. Let's shoot for medium. That's fine for voice recordings. And we'll export that. And it's going to do some magic, which I think it already did. It's usually pretty quick to do that. And if I go here to my audio files directory now, hey, there's my file. So let me minimize this. Let me move this over. Here's my keynote. I've already got an audio file here. Combustion. I'm going to delete that one just to show you this, to move it from my location, the directory I saved it to, into my keynote. Hey, I've done this a couple times, it looks like. Click, drag, done. 
And that's it, folks. Now, once you've done one, you can go back here to GarageBand. GarageBand, where'd you go? One second. I can go back into GarageBand and I can just delete this track and I can start into my next uh, turn and then just rinse and repeat. Once I'm done, edit out the parts I don't want, go up to share, export song disk, drag that file that's saved into my keynote, delete this clip from here and keep going and going and going. Should you have any more questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact me. Good luck.